All right, Jesse on Fire, welcome back to the channel. So look at this, this is obviously not my setup. I'm in an Airbnb in Scottsdale and I'm still gonna make a video because I love you guys like that. I love this channel and I love talking about MMA enough that I'm gonna kneel on the ground of a bathroom that I don't even own in order to film with the camera set up on the sink. That's how I do it, okay? That's how I do it. Anyway, uh, but I wanna make a video about the Conor McGregor and Dustin Poirier fight because I hear a lot of people talking about it. I don't think that there, it, it, I don't think there's a very complicated take here. I think that I'm gonna lay out what I think should be the only factors to consider. And then in the comments, I would love to hear why you guys think I got it wrong, okay? I don't wanna hear, oh, just, oh, you're wrong on this one. I wanna hear specifically why I got it wrong, if you guys think that I'm getting it wrong, because I'm gonna break it down real simple, okay? So, in the comments, if you disagree with this take, please let me know why, because, you know, I hear a lot of people talk about Connor that don't like him, but I wanna hear specifically how you think I got this wrong, if I get it wrong. Also, I wanna talk about Hamza Shemaev and Leon Edwards getting canceled again, because, I have very brief thoughts on that, okay? Uh, but if you like the content, subscribe and ring the bell. Share it with your friends, you know? Channel's growing slow, you know, just is what it is. Crowded, crowded crowd, right? But I know we have loyal viewership, so I know the content's good. But anyway, uh, like it, share it, comment, etc. So, all right, so here's the deal. So with the comes Shema, I'm sorry, with the Dustin Poirier and Conor McGregor fight, here's here's the the only thing to look at as far as I'm concerned, right? Okay, so everybody's going, oh, well, look, Dustin, Dustin Poirier's gone 10 and two since the Connor fight. And really, he really only lost to Habib because that was kind of a fluky thing when he lost to, uh, you know, whatever's in Johnson. So he's basically undefeated since Connor, aside from one fluke, you know, and then Khabib doesn't even really count. So, you know, I think he's, everybody's, everybody's underestimating him and dirt, dude, no one's, I'm not underestimating him, right? I'm talking about, let's just look at his fights. And then imagine that he's fighting against Connor. I mean, that that's how you break these fights down, man. Look at the guy, how he fights. If there's a very consistent theme to those fights, then imagine how Connor matches up against those or whoever a guy is fighting, right? And with Dustin Poirier against Connor, there are some blaring things to consider, right? And so I'm only just gonna talk about one of those things. Okay, here's here's that thing. So think of every single one of Dustin Poirier's fights, right? Literally like all of them. And what would you say is a very consistent theme in those fights, right? It's their wars. He wins wars. Every single one of Dustin Poirier's fights that I can think of is a war that he won. Like he's a killer man, but he also gets in wars. He doesn't like get in there and fast finish guys. He doesn't go in there, take a guy down and submit them. That's not how he fights. He goes in there and he bangs. Max Holloway, right? Justin Gaethje, Eddie Alvarez, uh, Max, what I said, yeah, Max Holloway, Dustin Poirier, I'm sorry, Max Holloway, Justin Gaethje, uh, Eddie Alvarez twice, uh, Pettis, uh, Hooker, right? Like, just think of those fights. That's like six, That you know, because he fought Alvarez twice. That's six fights, his six most recent fights aside from Habib. Think about every one of those fights. They look exactly the same. They all look exactly the same. It's him going in there, him banging on guys, them banging on him. In which of those fights is he not getting hit in the first and second round? Like which of those fights is he completely avoiding getting hit? Because the answer is none of them, right? He takes shots to give shots and his shots are not one punch knockouts, okay? His thing is he's great at hitting guys with a lot of punches and he can take punches to deliver them and he's tough as nails. He beat all of those guys the exact same way. Literally all of them, okay? Every single one of those guys, he beat exactly the same way. Exactly how I laid out. He takes shots, but he gives more shots, right? And he's super accurate with his strikes. When he throws punches, he lands them, right? And he throws quick, he's straight from the bat, 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 and he lands. Okay, so what I'm saying is, if he's getting hit by those guys, right? Eddie Alvarez, Justin Gaethje, you know, Max Holloway, Eddie Alvarez, if he's getting in, in Pettis, if he's getting hit by those guys, he's gonna get hit by Connor, okay? Like Connor is a better striker than all of those guys. He's also got longer reach than all those guys. And he's more accurate than all of those guys, okay? And then here's the X factor. His power is absolutely titanic compared to those guys, okay? So the fact that Dustin can absorb punishment from those other guys is irrelevant, okay? Like totally irrelevant, has nothing to do. It's like saying that, I mean, you know, it's an extreme example, but it's like saying that, you know, because a guy ate a shot from, you know, Tony Ferguson, then that means he'd be able to eat a shot from Francis Ngannou, okay? Like, obviously, it's not the same thing. And Connor, that is how much harder Connor hits than these guys. And so, like, what I'm saying is, I just don't believe Dustin's gonna be able to absorb punishment from Connor. 
I just don't believe it. I do not think he will be able to. So that's why I'm saying in the comments, if you think I'm wrong, you only have two options, okay? Either you're saying that you think for the first time he's going to completely avoid getting hit, or you're saying, no, I do think he'll be able to absorb a bunch of punishment from Connor. Okay, those are your only two options, right? Because either he's gonna avoid getting hit or he can take it from Connor. Okay, he's not gonna just knock Connor out in the first round. It's just not gonna happen, right? So, or maybe you're saying, oh, I think he's gonna take Connor down. I think Connor's ground game is weak. Well, Gilbert, <laughs> Gilbert Burns just did a video today talking about how Connor has incredibly underrated jujitsu, right? So that's just not accurate either. And Dustin Poirier, that's not how he fights. It doesn't matter. It's not how he fights. He's not gonna reinvent the wheel to fight Connor. So if you think that he can absorb Connor's punishment, I disagree. If you think he's gonna avoid getting hit by Connor, I completely disagree. And so I don't see where, where there is room for interpretation. Again, unless you think he's gonna be able to absorb what Connor can give and then get into the later rounds when Connor gets tired. That's the only way he wins. And I don't think that's gonna happen, okay? So that's why I'm picking Connor very confidently. I mean, I, I don't think I've been as confident picking a winner of a fight in a very long time as I am picking Connor to beat Dustin. Because here's the other thing. Here's the other thing that, sorry, I left out at the beginning. Every single guy on Connor's team, they all have this look where they're like, you guys don't understand how good he is now. They're like, he never stopped training. He's been training this entire year, right? He fought Cowboy. He was, he was super focused going into Cowboy and he never stopped training. Look at his body. You can tell that's true. He looks ridiculous. He's obviously been training constantly. And these guys all, I mean, literally all of them, Kavanaugh, you know, uh, Owen, Owen Rooney, Dylan Dennis. I've heard all three of those guys go, you guys don't understand how good he is now, okay? So if you imagine how good Connor was, then you imagine him improving for two years. Like, dude, he's gonna be incredible. He's going to win. Like, I'm just telling, I'm telling you right now, he's going to win. And Dustin Poirier is a savage. But he's gonna he's gonna annihilate Dustin. I am I have never been more confident picking a fight than I am picking that one. So I mean you know when it wasn't a total like a replacement fight or mismatch like Cyborg fighting against the tenth ranked girl who comes in the day before, but like or you know Habib versus Ally Quinta or something. Like seriously, like with two guys that are both as big as Connor and Dustin, I don't think I've ever been more confident picking a winner. That just is what it is. Um, now let me talk real quick about the, sorry, I keep adjusting. I'm in an incredibly uncomfortable position right now. Uh, now let me talk about the Hamza Shemaev and Leon Edwards fight really quick, which is this, this fight's cursed. Okay. I heard the weasel say it this morning and I totally agree with him. And, and that is plain and simple. When a fight has already gotten canceled twice in this short of a period of time, you're looking at a, you're looking at a Habib and, uh, you know, Tony Ferguson situation, just let it go, man. Sometimes if people believe that luck's not a real thing and that there are, you know, that there aren't like just these weird things like that, <laughs> I disagree. I totally disagree. And uh, I think they should just let go of this fight, even though this fight's perfect for both guys. It's perfect for both guys. It's a huge blow. I mean, honestly, for, for both guys, like Leon Edwards, if he wins that fight, he is all of a sudden right where he should have been you know, based on his record. And if Hamza Shemaev wins, he's a top three, top four guy instantaneously. It's a huge fight for both guys. And the fact that it's it's getting canceled again, it's, it's really shitty for both of them. But, uh, you know, I think that the UFC should let it go. It's, I, it's cursed, man. What is this, like the second, third time or something like that? Like uh, they had to reschedule it. Uh, they had to reschedule it. Then it got canceled. This is either the second or third time in a very short period of time. So I don't know. Uh, hopefully Leon Edwards gets a, gets a quick replacement because that guy needs a fight bad. Uh, I'm rooting for him. So anyway, that's what I got. Subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, tell your friends. Peace.